Hey guys, welcome back to Undertale. So, uh, today I just beat Toriel. Um, and, uh, and I saved right after the last video, so you don't have to watch me fight Goat Mom again. But, uh, Anyway, now we'll be exiting the ruins and continuing on with the journey of Undertale. Hopefully, soon. Is my volume up? Oh, if I turn my volume down, there's sound glitches on this. Like, all the time. It's stupid. I'm telling you, it is stupid. So, anyway, here we go. Walking up. Walking up, kinda creepy atmosphere. Walking up, walking up. This song is stupid. Wait, I just realized her sweater like almost takes up like her whole body. Frisks. I mean, it's like her sweater is her pants at the same time. <laughs> That's weird. Never really noticed that. Could have at least, like, separated it or something. Okay, here we go. Clever. Very clever. Why did I say that so long? You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. No, I didn't. Didn't I spare the life of literally everything? He he he. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. Well, you get it right now! But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't... Red... Regged... Regicide? What does that mean? This is so much more interesting. Eh. Sometimes I play, sometimes I don't. Here we go. To the end of Undertale. Just kidding. It's kind of like the end. It looks like the end, but it's not. Law and order. <laughs> That's who made the game. Toby Fox. What is it? Toby Radiation Fox or something? That's what I've heard. I I'm not sure, though. Well, what was that? There's a window in this. You're wondering why. Avoid the stick. The stick is dangerous. Okay, look behind me. Boom. Did you see it? Did you see it? 
Did you see the creepy person behind me with the teleportation powers? I can't move. Human, don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> Yo, we'll be cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick. Behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro. You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then, I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend? <coughs> I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping. You lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. Is that how you say it? You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. But I'm... Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. But I'm... Um, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. 
<laughs> okay, you can come out now. You want to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Okay, I'm going, Sans. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before. And seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry. He's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. By going backwards. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. This random sparkling object fills you with determination. What even is that? I just call them determination sparks. Because that's pretty much what they are. Man, I am not going to get a lot done in this episode. This 15 minute length and stuff is really annoying. Snowdrake fl flutters forth. At least we get some action in the video. Joke at him. Joke. You make a bad ice pun. I've heard... I've heard that one. Jeez, why do I still have my Sans voice on? Snowdrake is assessing the crowd. Is that how you say it? You make a bad ice pun. I've heard that one again. I have. I still have. You are the worst at making puns. How did I not get hit by that? It smells like a wet pillow. That's that doesn't smell good. Use some mercy. Ice puns are snow problem. Which now means that I can laugh and then spare him. You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs. Dad was wrong. Snowdrake is pleased with its cool joke. You won. You earned 12 gold. It's helpful. But not that much. I really did not get much done. Jeez. This time flies by fast. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm going to have to end a very short video here. So. Bye.